I think we can all kind of agree that uh, we have suffered far too many losses when it comes to renowned game studios and IPs thanks to EA. They'll buy up a studio, set lofty expectations for their games, and then when these expectations aren't met, EA's knee-jerk reaction will be to send the studio to the chopping block, absorb their franchises, and then have their way with them. It happened with Bullfrog, creators of Dungeon Keeper, a PC franchise that EA bastardized by turning into a microtransactions-invested mobile game. It happened with Westwood, creators of Command & Conquer, another PC franchise that EA has also bastardized by recently announcing that it would get a mobile outing. Bioware is barely hanging by a thread, with the studio's fate riding on Anthem success, and perhaps most impactfully felt recently was the dismantling of Visceral Games, who were not only best known for the acclaimed Death Space series, but were also hard at work on a brand new single-player action-adventure narrative-driven Star Wars game codenamed Ragtag, helmed by none other than legendary game director Amy Hennig, best known for leading the Uncharted series for the first three outings. EA's Patrick Soderlund made the announcement on October 17th, 2017 via a blog post on EA's official website, and the messaging there suggested that a major factor in the closure of Visceral and the repurposing of their game had to do with it being a linear single-player experience instead of a live service, the likes of which EA are so greedily in love with. We know since then a significant number of employees have been let go, but Amy Hennig's fate and the degree to which the new Star Wars game has shifted remained unclear. That is, until June 28th, 2018, when Amy Hennig shared an update on what's happened since then. The following information comes from website Eurogamer, who conducted a number of interviews in Spain's Game Lab conference, among them being with Amy herself. At one point, the outlet asked Amy if she was still creative director of a Star Wars project, to which she responded as follows. I'm not. I have not worked at EA since January, technically, legally. Yes, this is the problem. It was hard enough for them, but people were immediately asking them, is Amy working with you? And the answer was, well, we are in negotiations. Like, hmm, it was sort of the soft pedal answer. I haven't been in, but look, I get along with all those people. I consider even the guys on the exact team friends, but it made it awkward because it was like I never got the chance to announce that I'm not at EA, so I need to just pull off that band-aid at some point, but also had nothing to announce. It makes it sound like I just went home, but I'm doing all this stuff, working on all kinds of things. So there you go, folks, it's official. Amy Hennig is no longer involved with the project, and EA has pretty much completely taken over Ragtag, if we can even call it that at this point. As for what Amy is working on next, she provided the following statement. I'm working independently and staying independent. I just started my own small little independent studio, and I'm consulting with some people. I'm hoping to bring some people on board. I would love to have a little company of about six to eight people, 15 at most, and do some more projects, do some VR stuff. I'm consulting with some VR companies and doing a ton of research because I haven't played a lot to immerse myself in it. So basically she's going indie and recruiting a small team to make smaller scale games, with some VR stuff sprinkled in there as well. Not gonna lie, it does seem like a waste that her talents aren't being employed for a grander venture, but at the same time, sometimes the biggest things can come in the smallest packages. I wish her the best of luck in her future endeavors, and I'm looking forward to seeing what she comes up with next in this new environment. Finally, Amy briefly talked about the state of the Star Wars project she was helming, stating, quote, so yeah, I'm not doing anything Star Wars, and who knows what the future may hold, but that project is on the shelf now. The Vancouver studio is working on something pretty different. It's really not... You know, once you go more open world, it's such a different game to the one we were making. Everybody loved what we were doing, and I'd love to see us resurrect that somehow, but it's complicated. So for those who are hoping that elements of Visceral's vision for the game would be retained for EA's reboot, don't get your hopes up. From what Amy's saying, it seems as though her game was pretty much completely scrapped. Amy also confirmed that the game is now more of an open world experience, which is the complete opposite of what she and Visceral were working on. While I'm sure there will be assets from Ragtag that will be recycled in some way, whatever EA turns out might as well be a completely different Star Wars game. All of this was kind of hinted at when Patrick Soderlund made the announcement of Visceral shutdown and the course adjustment for their Star Wars project, but Amy's recent statements pretty much solidified our worst fears. It's a damn shame, really. This idea for a scoundrel-centric Star Wars game was an incredibly compelling and fresh concept for myself and I think a lot of people. 
Now, from what Kotaku editor Jason Schreier investigated, the development history of Ragtag leading up to its cancellation is more complicated than what's on the surface. On Visceral's part, there was a lot of clashing of cultures and ideas, particularly between Amy and team, in large part because of Amy's unwillingness to delegate work and her compulsion for micromanaging, perhaps in part because she didn't trust this new team like she did with Naughty Dog. And the ideas for this game were also far too ambitious for the manpower and resources of available to them. But on the other hand, it's abundantly clear that EA had a major role to play in the demise of Visceral and Ragtag. The way the publisher pulled resources away from the Star Wars game to mandate Battlefield Hardline and its expansions was demoralizing for the team. The way executives kept questioning Visceral's creative decisions and setting lofty expectations impeded progress, and at one point, EA even resorted to executing what's essentially a hostile takeover by integrating their Vancouver team into Visceral and having them take charge before Visceral was shut down. Again, it's all quite complicated, and it's not as if Amy Hennig and Visceral didn't have some part to play in Ragtag's downfall, but if you read Jason's article, it's also abundantly clear that EA executives fatally hindered and crippled progress with their mandates, intrusions, and unrealistic expectations. And EA being EA, rather than salvaging the core identity of that project and breathing new life into it, of course they resorted to replacing it with something more traditional and generic, something that fits their financial agenda rather than the creative integrity of a project. For all intents and purposes, Project Ragtag is dead. And while Amy and the rest of us would love to see it resurrected somehow, as long as EA holds exclusive rights to the Star Wars IP, it seems doubtful that will ever happen. Disney really shot itself in the foot with this exclusivity deal. As if the recent films haven't proven to be divisive enough, their partnership with EA has done nothing but wreak controversy with EA's constant mishandling of the beloved franchise. Seriously, enough is enough. Star Wars needs to be taken away from EA's irresponsible grasp. The company's had more than enough shots, and it's just been one flop after another, in large part due to questionable decisions. There are only so many times EA can fuck up Star Wars games before they start doing irreparable damage to the brand as a whole. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel, directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.